everyone to your manifestation video for December. I hope you guys are doing great out there. Okay, guys, I do have all of the portal dates written down. As I said before, I didn't have the paper with me. Um, so it is time to get out there, take a risk, get out of your comfort zone. This is Sagittarius season, and actually it's going to be going on even through the Capricorn season. Okay, so um, this is the 11 portals of the month. We've already gone through a lot of them, so I'm just going to name the ones that are coming up. That way you guys can get in there, start manifesting. Remember, we manifest every day. It's just this is when things are amplified. Energy is amplified. Best time to get out there. Um, so the next one that was coming up that's going to be a huge one is going to be that winter solstice, um, December 21st, which is going to actually run into the 23rd as well. So the 23rd, they're going to be back to back. So that's going to be a tons of booming energy right there. Okay. And that uh, December 23rd is going to be the beginning of Capricorn season. So we have that, um, excuse me, Sag Cap season coming in. Um, so you definitely want to use that to your fullest advantage. And then of course you have December 26, which is the full moon in cancer coming up. So we definitely want to be talking about that as well. I'll do a video for that one. December 29th and the 30th, once again, here we go. As they're intermixing again, bringing in this amplified, huge, right? Um, energy coming through, amplifying those manifestations, getting what we want, getting into the new year, right? And when we're talking about amplified, we're talking about by 10, you know, 100, right, over here, right? Really amplifying those up, knowing what it is you really want, getting yourself into the area of your life to where it's like, this is what I want, right? This is what I want to manifest, bringing those energies together. Okay, you guys probably even feel that energy. Um, for those of you who really do a lot of meditation, you're probably really open and you really can feel that energy coming through. Okay, so let's see what's going on over here. Getting straight into this right now, seeing what is the best message for you at this time for this month, especially since we have all this amplified energy going on as it is pushing us towards that new year, wanting us to get things done, get things manifested, manifesting for the new year. Best message coming out is <clears throat> course correct. Oh, but I love that because it is saying that, look, at the end of the year, there's some things that maybe didn't happen within the year. So maybe we want to get back in there and correct some of these things that never came in. If there was a manifestation that you felt that maybe it kind of died, it didn't come through, let's get in there and correct it. Maybe I didn't do it right. Maybe I didn't give it the right kind of energy. Maybe I didn't manifest right. Maybe I couldn't keep the energy up enough. So let's get in there and fix it. It says, if any obstacles or divisions, or excuse me, diversions has interrupted your plans, this card here is to assure you that the delay is bringing you an opportunity to pause, reassess in order to fine tune your direction, right? What is it that I truly want? Did I do it right? Did I not amplify my own vibrations? Did I not visualize myself into the present? Did I not bring it into the present enough? Did I not feel like I didn't already own it? Right? So a lot of things when it comes to manifesting, right? The little things, they just come, right? They come every day. But these big ones, the ones that you're really trying to set into motion, the ones that you're very conscious about, those are the ones we're talking about those, right, that open the new doors to the doors that we are not sure. Like, how do I even get to those doors? Those doors are the doors that open to other doors, right? Beyond our wildest dreams, right? Okay, this one says dislike of others, putting away the negative feelings towards others at this time, especially at this time. This is the time of giving and receiving. Um, Right, so sometimes we form strongly negative feelings towards others. In truth, it is not them that we dislike, but, but their words, actions, and behavior. This card asks you to try to detach from the experience of their behavior, to see them as a soul on their own unique pathway, attempting to manage their own challenging life lessons. They're just saying, get rid of grudges. Get rid of all that negative energy that's holding you back. But the past can hold us back from the things that we want now right? And this is the truth. It really is. Those grudges, those things that, you know, that keep with us, that hold us down, 
So we're going to, you know, it's time to correct those and say, you know what, you're going to live the way you need to love. <laughs> you, you need to live in love. Um, I don't know why I want to say love. I just, the way they want to love. Maybe it was a loved one, right? Maybe it's somebody you love that they don't give that kind of treatment back. Um, but however it is, you're just going to, I see that we're not meant to be together. This is, we're not, we're not meant. Good luck on your life journey, right? So doing it with grace and peace. When we sit in relationship with grace, we see every situation through the eyes of love, fostering our desires to meet life with understanding, compassion, and kindness. This card asks you to view your situation with grace. Will understanding bring compassion? How would love view your possible choices? What would kindness suggest that you do? Okay, so those are the three most important ones at this time. It's talking about just course correct and the way that we're viewing things around in our lives and the people around us um, so that we can get the ultimate things that we need, not worrying about what they're doing. Because in a lot of times we allow them to disrupt our energy and maybe that's where the course correct is coming through. Sometimes it can come through jealousy. It can come through enviness. It can come through, I just don't like you, but you're in my head. Um, you know, obsessed about what they're doing more than worrying about what you're doing because they're always just in your field of energy. So spirit is pretty much telling you release that field of energy when it comes to this, this, um, these people who seem to just get on your nerve, disrupt your energy. And for those of you who don't have that, you can, you know, get rid of that. But it's kind of hard to believe that we all don't have that one way or another certain times of the year right now you could say I don't I can't think of anybody who's really doing that right now maybe I already released if you already released then that you know that's awesome um, then you can let that one go and just look at what you need to course correct you know are you using your visualizations the way you're supposed to be um, right now is the time within this season to go all in okay follow through with what it is take the action and go all in Feel uncomfortable, get uncomfortable, do the things that take those risks that you know you need to take. Okay. Let's grab a couple of portal cards over here. Time to rewrite your story, my friends, and get to what it is you truly want. Keep going even without the results. The universe will surprise you in a few, in a few days, few months, few weeks with the results that you are looking for. Sometimes that they're really huge and it's going to take some time for you to reevaluate a lot of things within your lives. It could take a couple of years, depending on what it is you, you know you're going it out, you know, after, you know, so. Emerald tablet activation, cosmic ordering, divine alchemy, and conscious manifesting. And that's exactly what we're talking about right now. Spirit wants us to understand that we're talking about conscious manifesting which you're going to take your conscious and put it into your subconscious. You're going to do that with breath work. Um, I might actually do a whole video on breath work. Um, if I can just figure out how, I, I, I know I can do this. <laughs> it's like, you know what, I know I can do that. I'm not even gonna ask, I'm gonna, you know what, I can do this. Karmic board clear, uh, clearing, energetic clearing, rewrite your story, live your truth. What did I just say? Rewriting your story, cleansing your board. Being who you want to be. Who are you? Remember that too. Remember that too because that's a part of your root chakra. Who are you? You are meant for something wonderful. You are made for something great. Who are you? Always ask your question. If you think you're this and you think you're that on a negative point, then you are that. Because manifesting is about who we are, not about what we want. Who and what, right? It's what your energy is pushing towards you. So always tell yourself, I am. So the dislike of others is the end of a cycle with the Anaki, Anunnaki, excuse me, light codes, energetic shift, new information, the end of the cycle. It's you're going to end this cycle now, right? Telling yourself, I'm going to end that. You know what? I'm just going to, you know what? Forgive you, let you go. I don't need your energy. I don't need your drama. I'm going to let it go. 
And you know what that's going to do? It's going to push you towards the progress. It's going to push you towards that gate. It's going to push you towards what it is you're manifesting, push you towards something that you deserve even more so without keeping you stuck. Because when your energy is like that and you allow everybody into your energy like that, you're keeping yourself stuck into that little area where you have a hard time moving. Release, cleanse, release it. Pleiadian activation coming together, harmony in the heavens, and you're finding that resolution within yourself, within that whole situation. And even if you're off course, you know what? You're going to find the resolution to put yourself back on course and saying, you know what? Okay, so I messed it up. I didn't visualize it enough. Or maybe I started having self-doubts about the situation. You cannot have fears, doubts. That's what we were just talking about in those chakras, right? For a lot of you. A lot of you had the same chakra I did that collective chakra to where you guys are, you know what, I have fears and doubts within the situation. So we're going to be cleansing that. Why? Because through the grace comes the what? The crown chakra upgrade. A miracle happening. You want to believe in miracles. You need to believe in miracles because if you don't have the faith and the trust within this situation, you will not have the miracle, right? Because that's what it's all about. It's about the faith and the trust and the understanding. The understanding of faith and trust also for the perfect timing within the situation. Remember, most of the perfect timing isn't because you're really waiting on the universe. It's the universe waiting on you, you to fix all of this. And then when he says, oh, or she, or however you want to see it, they, see whatever it is that you're seeing, knowing that you're ready, that's when your time has come. Divine connection, holy experiences, and miraculous energy, waiting waiting for the growth, waiting for the cleansing, waiting for the clearing, waiting for the space, waiting for the growth, waiting for the um, trust, faith, the gratitude. Don't forget the gratitude that you're so grateful for, your past mistakes, your past negative things that went on in life, along with the present things and the future things. Right? I'm so grateful that I had this horrible thing happen to me because I wouldn't be the Wonder Woman I am today. I wouldn't be the Superman I am today. Right? Paul's, excuse me, anonymity, <clears throat> initiation, secrets revealed, treasures uncovered, and initiations. This is where you find the treasures that you're looking for. This is where the treasures finally find you. As you're seeking out the treasures, remember what you seek seeks you. The Holy Grail. Right? I know you guys have seen the Holy Grail card. Here it is. Thank you, Spirit. The Holy Grail, inner discovery, finding sacredness. You are what you seek. So what is it saying? Your initiation, your treasures uncovered is what you seek is now finding you. Because you are what you seek. Right? So it's time to recharge, reheal, and get ready. The bottom of the deck... These are already pre-shuffled. Look at that. It's already talking about manifestation. It's already talking about that magic that we hold within ourselves. Talking about how we are co-creators. Talking about the action that needs to be taken to have the create the creativity for the creation to come through, through the manifestation, through that power of self-confidence and willpower. And I think that the biggest one for most people, and including myself, because I'm no different from any of you, is keeping on to the faith, the trust, and the hope. Because you want to go and you're just like, I know this is coming. I got this. I know the universe can do this. But then we wait and wait and wait and we start losing the trust. We start losing the, we start doubting that it's coming. And I think that that's, you know, especially for the bigger ones, right? The little ones, it's like, oh, okay, because I found the $5 on the ground, right? So, Spirit says, through the manifestation, wow, all these cards are manifestations, so awesome. Through the manifestation comes the abundance. Knowing that this is the gift from the universe and that you can have the gifts from the universe. It's all within you. It's all within all of us. It's just new prosperity, new opportunities, new financial things. Right? But allowing yourself to balance your time management, balance yourself, balance your energies, right? And make sure that you have the perfect timing. But don't be afraid, my friends. Right now is not the time to be afraid to test the waters. Take the risk. Get uncomfortable. Do the things that you know you need to do to take that action towards what it is you want. 
finding that meaning and finding that purpose for yourself. Okay. And last card coming out is, yes, being disciplined through your honesty and your truthfulness, becoming your own authority within yourself and your own life. You know what you need to do. And remember, guys, too, when you're breathing, I just want to bring this up really fast. When you are breathing, make sure you're breathing through your mouth. I know a lot of people want you to breathe through your nose, but you won't be able to actually activate the sacral chakra and the solar plexus by breathing through your nose the way that you will with your mouth. Okay, so when you're breathing, you're going to put your non-writing hand over your heart. Well, actually, to start with, you're going to put it over your belly button area and then put your other hand that you're not writing with, okay, over your stomach as well over the other hand. It's going to look like this, okay? It's going to be like that. Um, for most of you, it's going to be left, down, right, oh, and then over, right over it. And you're going to go so deep that you're going to make your stomach go in. Hold it. One, two, three. Stay calm. And when you breathe out, I want you to breathe out so hard that you're going to extend the stomach outward. It's going to be even like, uncomfortable. You're activating your sacral chakra and your solar plexus. That's where your manifestation comes from. That is where your intuition is. And that's where the magic happens. You're going to do that until you get yourself into the meditative mode. When you get yourself into the meditative mode, you can look up towards your eyebrows, start feeling it starting to tighten up and really hurt. That's going to activate your third eye chakra. Then I want you to put your, your hand from your stomach now to your heart and start using your heart. Feel your heart inside your chest as you're breathing and really looking up towards your crown. Right. And then I want you to start visualizing the white light coming and putting yourself into the future. Okay. And then seeing your future self, as you see your future self, your future self will look like a movie. It's not, it's you, but like outside of the body, okay? It's not, do you see what I'm saying? It's not first person point of view. It is third person point of view. You are going to see yourself as another. And that's because you're going to see yourself like that. When you're done and you get that place, I want you to, to relax, hands up, palms up, okay? So that way you can receive from the universe. Ooh, just doing that. I started getting tingly already. Okay, so I was like, woo, I'm already, I'm already getting tingles. Um, so that's what you're going to do, okay? And that will help you with your meditation. And that will get you to where the point is that you really need to be. And then you can start your affirmations as you're going. I am creator. I am powerful. I am healthy start doing those things as you're visualizing your manifestation that you already have it when you see where you are make sure that you put in those emotions how happy you are where are you what do you have be happy how happy does this make you push those emotions push those emotions to the happiness you know you're so happy you want that car how happy are you to see yourself in that car push those emotions if you cry, that's even better. Okay. Let's go. And talking about those affirmations, we're going to go ahead and use the affirmations and then your video will be done. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. I do this video for you guys because I learn it and I want to be able to share it. I live an inspired life full of things I love. Wow. Oh, I on the back it says stay away from those people who try to oh my god guys <laughs> yep yeah you can't make that stuff up right you, you can't make that up uh, what did we just talk about stay away from people who terrorize our energy <laughs> literally terrorize us stay away from those people who try to what 
destroy our, our ambitions. Oh, and that's another thing. Don't tell people your manifestations unless you know it's somebody who's really on your side who can help you manifest, right? Otherwise, they'll destroy it. Small minds will always do that destroy your manifestations and your ambitions but great minds will give you the feeling that you have become great too and also just staying away from people who like i said before are energy vampires who destroy your energy who make you feel all these horrible ways right that you're giving too much attention to but this is distracting your normal energy from manifesting the things you want regardless what i work on i am always deeply appreciative and well compensated your income is determined by how many people you serve and how well you serve them. Remember, because um, the more money you put out, the more money you you get back, right? That's why it's called currency. Go with the flow. If you want love and abundance in your life, give love away. So, you know, I love these too because it's going to tell you right off, the, here's to correct that course. If you're saying abundance is my birthright, yes, it is. Okay, but it's also saying love is your birthright. So if you can't realize why you can't find love, it could be because somebody is distracting you from love and so you're having a hard time giving love out. You can't get love back in if you don't give it out. You can't get money back in if you don't put it out, right? I am strong and I am unstoppable, 100 Nothing is possible. The word itself says I am possible. And each and every one of you are possible. That's why I do these readings. Because I believe in each and every one of you. And I do believe that each and one of you are going to figure it out. How to get all of this done. It's going to take time. For those of you who are actually having these things actually really working for you. Please write that down in the comments and let other people know maybe how you're doing it. Or how you're seeing it. Or how things are actually working in your life. Until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.